Hey everybody, video here for you today. I've had some questions on this subject. And this is kind of a controversial subject. I'm sure a lot of people have seen it. Today we are going down to Palenque in Mexico. This is one of the most famous Mayan cities. We're just going to talk a little, talk about a sarcophagus down here. This is the way the site looks today, at least what has been cleared, and there are many more ruins under the jungle canopy. You can get an idea here where this site sits. There are some large hills to the south here and then kind of a flat plain that this site overlooks today. There is kind of a view up from the mountains and then the site sits right down here. The Temple of the Inscriptions right here, pretty important discovery was made here. I believe it was in the 1950s and I'm going to just show a clip from the Leonard Nimoy in search of show in a bit here showing that discovery or talking about that. Here's Palenque today, down on Street View. So kind of a plaza here, and then the Temple of the Inscriptions right here. Pretty impressive structure for sure. Now on Google Earth, a few of the ruins are identified here, but there are ruins all around this area that you can actually explore on Google Earth here. And here, I just do punch the Street View thing and many different areas where you can look at here. There are ruins everywhere. The whole area is filled with ruins under the canopy, like this here. And I see there is a pretty cool carving here, right in the middle of this structure, this little plaza, whatever it is. But you can search this whole area. The ruins are vast. And you can explore them on Google Earth. In ancient times, Palenque was known as Lacama, and that translated to big water. That's the ancient name for Palenque. But here is a bas relief found on one of the temples here. Here's the way Palenque looked in the 1890s when the pyramids and structures here were just covered by dirt and trees and bushes. I'm sure some of the people watching have visited here before, and I'm pretty sure you are kind of awestruck at the ancient ruins here at Palenque. But if they cleared away all the trees, I think our jaws would drop even more. One of the most famous Mayan sites we have. Here is a sculpture of King Kinich Janab Pakal, known as Pakal the Great. And his tomb was found down here. Must have been 60, 70 years ago now. Here is a reconstruction of the tomb with the famous sarcophagus lid. We'll talk about that in a second, but this is at the Museo Nacional. Here's how Lord or King Pakal was found in his tomb. Adornments over the wrists and around the neck. A jade mask over the face and to the Mayans, jade was priceless. And he, he came to rule probably in his early teen years and ruled, they say, till he was 80 years old. Now here's this famous sarcophagus lid. We'll take a closer look at it, but around the edge here, they have glyphs that stand for celestial bodies that are up in the sky. And this is not the guy in the spaceship. And I don't care what Eric Van Daniken or Giorgio Tsoukalo says. I'll listen to what the Mayans actually tell us this is. Let's just talk about this a little more. Now here's this sarcophagus lid. This is a pretty good diagram of it. People have really kind of run wild what this represents. But according to the people who actually made this sarcophagus, I think these are planet symbols down here, maybe Venus and Jupiter. I think this one stands for a two-mooned body in the heavens. And here is Lord Pakal. This is not a spaceship. What this is is actually a tree, and the tree of life, I suppose you could say. But it has its roots in the underworld. Here is the Earth monster. That's where Pakal is emerging from. The middle of the tree is the middle world. The top of the tree is the other world, or you could say maybe the afterlife or heaven, but he is emerging from the underworld and he is ascending to the sky to live for eternity. Is he going up to the sky? Well, kind of in a way he is, but it's his soul living for eternity. It's not a actual object, a spaceship. It's more of a cosmology story or an afterlife story or an ascension to heaven story. The trees and just growth, maize, corn, other things played an important role. And on uh, 
Pakal's sarcophagus on the other sides of it that you really never see. He has relatives shown being reborn as different, different types of trees. Here is the tablet from the temple of the foliated cross at Palenque. And here is kind of a cross here and the tree symbolism coming out of the cross. You can leave your comments below, but that probably has many deep meanings. Also found on the sarcophagus lid is the actual Mayan symbol for wood, because this represents a symbolic tree. At the top, we have representations of the Milky Way. We have a double-headed serpent with Mayan faces, and the double-headed bar snake was a Mayan symbol, king symbol of power. But the simplest way to explain this is the tree is carrying Pakal up to eternal life in the heavens. The roots are rooted in the underworld, and they're not flames of a spaceship. They kind of represent the underworld and the trials and tribulation of that. The tree is carrying Pakal up to the heavens for eternal life. That is the best way I can tell you what this represents. Here's a look inside the tomb and the massive sarcophagus lid that was found here. Now here is a film clip from Leonard Nimoy from his show In Search Of. Talks about the discovery of this tomb. This isn't in HD. This was a TV show from 40 plus years ago. So let's just watch. In 1949, archaeologist Alberto Rus was exploring a pyramid at the Mayan center of Palenque. To his surprise, he uncovered a rubble-filled staircase leading down to the heart of the pyramid. At the bottom of the staircase, Bruce found skeletons of several youths, perhaps placed there as guardians. Then, he broke through to a large vaulted room. Around the walls were stucco reliefs of Mayan gods, known as Lords of Darkness. In the center of the chamber, Dr. Roos saw a huge stone monolith covered with carvings. We lifted the flat inscribed stone and found a large opening that was covered with another stone. We lifted that one too and found a sarcophagus in which appeared a skeleton of a man with all his jade jewelry. Over the man's face was a mask made of 200 jade pieces, to the Mayans more precious than gold. The sarcophagus lid, its colors restored, shows a priest looking up through sacred trees. It appears the lid was intended to help the deceased to heavenly paradise. That is my video on Palenque and Lord Pakal and his tomb and sarcophagus. Fascinating place. I encourage you to check it out on Google Earth here. A lot of places to look at. Some of us have a lot of time on our hands these days. A lot of us do. So I just want you to check this place out. Maybe get into Google Earth researching yourself. That is my video on the archaeological site of Palenque associated with the Mayans in Mexico. Hope you thought that was cool and you all have a very safe day.